All right, now we're going to look at the inorganic side of things. So inorganics on organics. So we'll start out with the basic head and just give you an example of this. Okay, let's say I wanted to put some kind of mask on this character or maybe some kind of thing that jettisons out the side of you know his head or whatever. Now there's two different brushes I use for this. There's wax and wax is nice because it has a nice buildup. I turn wax down quite a bit to like five and then I can just go to town with trying to sketch in some kind of hard edge form that comes off this character. And sometimes I'll just go nuts and say, eh, let's see. Perfect. Okay, so now to kind of get that to be a more um, non-organic look to it, or hard edge, I'd have to polish it out a little bit more. There we go. So to polish that, this is the workflow I kind of go over. The first thing is flatten. And I'll start flattening those forms out. Just like that. Now if I have a hard change here, uh, sometimes rather than go and try to fix this, I'll use wax and hold control. with a low strength. And that will cut away at the surface. And then I can use pinch to over exaggerate that. So you can see how pinch just magically hardens up that edge. And then sometimes pinching it really helps because when you go to smooth it, it has a nice uh, edge there that got pulled together vertically wise. And there we go. So just a, a little example on using the tools to get a more inorganic look on things using smooth pinch. There's another tool in here I use a lot. Here again I'm going to pinch this before I go to smooth it. So I'm going to pinch it here then smooth. Now the other tool is the scrape tool. And sometimes you get lucky. I call this the getting lucky tool because basically, you know, you don't really, you have control. I want to say it's control, 
but I want to say it's more like I hope it hope it gets in the area that I need it to be. So I'm going to try to make a, another inorganic form here. Again, holding shift. This is nice for blending surfaces. Again, with its counterpart shift every once in a while. Okay, I see a nice form change there. So I'm going to go and over exaggerate it a little bit using the pinch. With pinch, I always keep the strength really high. smooth out. Get that to a nice form change there. And you can see if you work the area enough, you can get like a cowl, like Batman's mask or something like that coming off a character. So that's kind of my workflow for inorganics. It gets a little deeper than that, but this is good to get you started. You should always just kind of practice it or try it yourself and see how you like it. And you may be able to add something to it that I didn't have. So enjoy. Let's go on to the next video.